Hey what's up guys welcome to velocity x tutorials uh, and uh, guys velocity x is basically a framework which we use uh, by which like you can write uh, custom ui designs very rapidly and uh, the the thing is that uh, you know based on a survey as well as my experience um, there are a couple of widgets uh, which we regularly use like text and container and then there are some more widgets which uh, which are always being used in all the flutter applications so idea behind the velocity x is to provide you a way by which you don't have to uh, write those things again and again uh, which which is something which uh, you generally use and then uh, there are some other utilities which velocity x offers so that it can help you in making uh, responsive designs as well as uh, there are other things like uh, you know some utility uh, things uh, based on lists based on uh, text based on strings uh, those extension methods it provides so yes velocity x uh, heavily uses extension methods and it is kind of inspired from tailwind css if you are from a uh, web background and also it uh, uses some concepts from swift ui so yeah that's the idea and uh, to start with velocity x you have to go to your pubspec.yml and you have to add this dependency which is velocity x uh, 0.3.1 is the current version uh, which is i am using right now at the time of recording and uh, in the main dot dot we are just calling text page and in the text page we have just this widget where we have material and in the text we are saying i am pavan now um in this video we'll talk about text so um, this is how we write text generally in our flutter application and let's say if we want to give it more styling then uh, we will write something like this let's say style and then we can say text style okay and then guys um, uh, we generally give color let's say color start blue and then uh, we can also give it font weight let's say we want to make it bold so we can say font weight dot bold and similarly we can give it font uh, size let's say uh, 25 is the size so yeah there are a lot of things which you can do hi i am pawan is what you can see and uh, this is this is more like how you write a text widget and these are the properties which we generally use there are other properties as well which you can use like decoration um and uh, uh, font style like letter spacing if you want to give then line height so height should be there as well yes so if you give height then right now you can see this is the height line height which it got okay so this is how we generally write right so now i'll copy this and you can see how many lines of code it took uh, it, it started from 10 and it ended up on 19 so yeah that's fine that's not a problem but uh, what you could do is uh, you can use velocity x and you can even increase or decrease this uh, these lines of code uh, so now i will uh, try to use the same thing using velocity x so i am deleting it and now i'll write my uh, normal string and i'll say hi i am pawan okay and now to use velocity x you have to use dot operator and you can say text make sure you are importing this velocity x dot dot and now once you say text then up for ending it you have to call dot make and you can see the same thing uh, hi i am pawan um, this is not uh, the greatest thing but now what i'm uh, i'm gonna show you is definitely the great thing so now let's say i want to give it color so i can say text dot blue 500 and you can see i got the blue color now let's say i want to make it bold so i can make it bold and now let's say i want to increase its size so i can use xl xl2 xl3 xl4 all this size even if i want to give custom size then i can say size and i can give my size let's say 25 so you can see 25 but now i can remove the xl4 and this is the size which we got generally so this is just a single line of code and you can see so whenever you are done with text um, or any widget uh, using velocity x then uh, when you are using their properties then uh, make sure you use dot make or dot make center which will also center the widget so yeah these are the two options which you can use and definitely you can uh, play with it more and let's say it's blue 500 now uh, you want to make it underline then you can make underline and uh, you can see the underline text here then let's say uh, you want to make them uppercase then also velocity x can help you and you can say uppercase and everything is uppercase similarly there is lowercase as well you can use that and then there is partial height partial as well which will 
hide uh, some information from this particular text and these are the tools which comes with velocity x and then guys um, this is one way of doing it but let's say um, you want to use your like normal way how you use your widgets and you want to um, like use the power of velocity x as well so let's say uh, this is what uh, we wrote initially and now uh, even with this text you can use velocity x so after this text visit uh, you have to say let's say dot text and uh, dot make so it will convert it to velocity x widget and then you can apply all the rules here let's say you want red color so it will override all the properties which you are using and then try to uh, rewrite them again so let's say if i say red 500 then it will override it uh, it will uh, like whatever you are like uh, writing in the style which we overridden here if you will specify it let's say i want to change the height from uh, the line height so line height is usually 10 but uh, i want to change it so um, there are like couple of heights which uh, uh, is specified so you, you can see all the properties there are different colors and uh, different line heights and yeah you can see the light light or uh, sorry the tight tighter tightest thin wide wider widest so later spacing is also there so what we want is thin uh, let's say thin and uh, and you can see it is become thin so yeah all those things you can use and for line height uh, you can give it uh, line height value let's say rather than 10 let's give it 5 and yes so you can see like everything is working how it works with your normal text and then guys um, this is how you write it generally so you don't have to use basically text so now if I remove it and go back to this now it's again looking pretty good right and uh, let's make it uh, uppercase and yes so this this is the idea which i wanted to give you and there are many other properties which you can use guys um this is all like uh, whatever you can imagine you can uh, do with text and if if let's say there is something missing from this uh, like set of properties which you use generally so let's say if i say hairline then okay there's nothing uh, about hairline because we are all already using bold okay so yeah that's that's something which i wanted to say but let's say if there is not a uh, like a property which you want to use then you can use your normal text and then uh, you can override with these properties and also let's say you don't want to use a string then you can directly use a, a text widget with the which comes with velocity x as well which we call vx text so vx text builder and uh, here you can give your text but it won't work uh, without like writing make so yeah you have to make sure that uh, you are writing that as well so if you'll do that then you can see our text is here so yeah in the next video i'll tell you about uh, boxes and how velocity x can help you with boxes thank you so much